Hey everybody, this is John again. I'm coming to you and today we're going to do something that's a little different, but it's a lot of fun. Today we're going to install the Magic Lantern firmware on a Canon T1i, the 500D. Now this is an older DSL camera, but um, the Magic Lantern firmware really unlocks a lot of potential. First off, there are a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need at least an extra SD card, maybe you want to try this one out, and you need a good charged battery for the camera. So the first thing you need to do is to format your card. Once you've formatted your SDHC card, then you can go to magiclantern.fm, click on the downloads link, and notice these are all nightly builds. There's the warning, and you click on right here, download nightly builds. Now you have the choice to select your camera. You have the 500D. So first it says format the card, make sure you're running Canon firmware 1.1.1. Now this means that you have to have your T1i on the most up-to-date software from Canon. Now then it says to copy the Magic Lantern files on the card and run the firmware update. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And you can see down here in the bottom corner it downloaded just fine. And now we're going to click on that and launch it. And you'll see that there is a directory for this. I'm going to come over and copy this. Um, you'll see that I have my EOS Digital E drive here. When I come over here, I have a DCM IM, the miscellaneous, because I formatted that, that card. And I'm just going to copy every last drop of this onto the onto this other card. It's only 2.36 megabytes. Notice there's a Magic Lantern file uh, folder, there's an autoexec, and there's a Magic Lantern setup dot firmware. These things are all very important. Without the directory, without the setup, you can't do this. Once you've done the setup, you don't have to have the, the, uh, the setup firmware any longer. All right, once you've taken that card that you just dropped the Magic Lantern files onto, um, open up the camera's card slot, pop it in the card, close it. All right, now that you have your Canon camera with that card in the slot, um, close that latch and then turn on the power. And now you're gonna go to menu, and um, you can see that this one already has one flash, hit okay, and hit um, update. Yours will say that it doesn't have that, so hit okay, and give your Canon just a moment. It's gonna say firmware update program, and um, it says please wait in the upper left, Magic Lantern install. Um, and since I had already installed one, it's already there. You would have seen something that said ROM zero backed up. Um, now uh, making card bootable, done, restart your camera, and you turn it off. Now we're gonna turn it on. Give it a second here. And you'll first off notice that in the upper left hand corner, there are a few things that weren't there. In the lower left hand corner, and the display on how many photos you have remaining are totally set. To access that menu, simply click on the trash can symbol. Magic Lantern is there, hit a button, and you have access to all of the Magic Lantern features. My favorite setting though, however, is um, just past the movie setting, and you have the, access, you have the option of turning on an intervalometer, which means rather than it's buy one and install it or mount it, you can turn one on and it will automatically take pictures. Motion detect, you can set this where it'll turn on automatically. When you go to the movie settings, I'm gonna turn the camera to the movie settings so you can see this. You hit the, the, menu, the menu setting here. You have so many different options. You can override the frame per second. There are all these different things that you can do. But um, look at some of the things that happen here. You can see the audio meter across the top. You've got some histograms here. Um, all of the standard tools are there, the settings are there, but uh, this is a really, really fantastic tool. I'm not gonna tell you that this is flawless. Sometimes it hangs up, sometimes it drains the battery. All in all, Magic Lantern completely changes this camera, and uh, in coming days, I'll be showing you some of the things I've done with Magic Lantern on my Canon T1i, otherwise known as the 500D. Thanks a lot for watching.